Wait, not yet, not yet. Since this is one of your favorite dishes that I make, um, this is a, a book that I got somewhere in Canada. It's called With a Pinch of Love. And this is the recipe. It's called Mock Chicken Wings, okay? This is what it's taken from. I have it memorized now, so I don't really need the cookbook. So now you've seen the book. Okay, here is what you need. You need almonds to start with. You need shake and bake of some flavor and the chicken. And you need curry to go with it. That's all that's going into this. But the first thing I have to do is grind the uh, almonds because you need them very fine unless you buy them at the grocery store that way. I make this dish because my son Robert especially likes it, but then my husband does too. So it's really a very favorite with all of us. So the first thing I'm going to do is I, I have a sliver of almonds in about a quarter of a cup. Um, and as you see, half of them fall on the floor. And my messy cup. And now we're going to grind them because we, we have to be very fine. And I just need a quarter of a cup, so it won't take too much. The hardest part, or maybe it's the best part, is that you have to cut the chicken. Maybe you better cut. The next step, then, after you get the almonds, it really isn't any particular order, but the almonds have to be ground. Now you have to cut the chicken. As you see, the chicken wings are a piece like this. So what you want to do is you've got to cut all of them at the top and make it look like it's a, a leg. It's just, that's why it's called mock chicken legs, because they're not really legs. They're part of the wing. Who taught me how to cook? Well, first of all, I never cooked at home. When I got married, I had to learn how to cook. <laughs> I grabbed a couple cookbooks and then my mother-in-law Mrs. Lucille Jarzen had lots of recipes, and they're the ones my husband liked, so I got all my recipes from her, and if I had any questions, that's who I asked. So I guess a lot of it came from cookbooks and talking to other people. Yeah, I at one time made four dozen of these, and um, they turned out really well, but it takes a long time because you've got to cut, this, cut the chicken parts. So you're pushing it down, you're making it look like a leg. Seal jars and showed me how to make um, gratsula, which is an egg dish you could have it for breakfast or whatever. Other things is another one with pork chops called rosy reds. It's just with tomato soup and everything. It's really good. Okay, and another um, dish which is really interesting. It's a German dish called Spätzle or Spätzle or whatever. It's a it's a noodle type, and it's made with flour and egg and water, and you. Um, put a little bit of flour on a plate and you're cutting off tiny little pieces of noodle and cook them in boiling water. Okay, now that we've cut the chicken the way we want it, you know, made it into little wings, we have some other things to put together. Well, first of all, we use shake and bake. Now, you can use any flavor you want. I always go for the original, but over the years, they've slightly changed. And in fact, this box, if you want to know a funny thing, they forgot to put the bags in, so I'm using my own bag. Okay? So, first you take the bag and you open up the shake and bake bag that they give you here, you know, those colors. And we're going to pour all that in there. And what you add to that is your almonds. I don't think it's too many in there. Um, after you do this a few times, yeah, you might find you want more of something, more almonds or whatever, and you can adjust that the way you want it. Okay, so here's the almonds going in there. Now then you take the curry. Oops. Oops. I'm a messy cook. A couple of teaspoons of almonds. So let's go over it. You've got the shake and bake, you've got your almonds, and you've got two teaspoons of curry. And you mix it up really well. Shake it around, mix it up. Okay, then you're ready to do the chicken. What you do, the chicken's already wet. It helps to have the chicken wet. That's why I soaked it in water beforehand. You put a couple of them in here like this. Shake them around till they're covered. Here, put them in the dish, straighten them up. When I first made it for them, uh, they really liked it. They just sort of, that was about the only thing they wanted to eat. And every time they were around, 
I had to make them. It got to be a little boring, always doing the same thing, but that's what they love. One of them said, well, this is great, I like them. The other one said, what happened to the rest of the chicken and why are these all, all here? And anyway, yes, and, and that was it. They loved them. <laughs> I enjoy cooking a lot, especially, I tell you the truth, I like uh, baking much better than cooking. I like to bake cookies, cakes, whatever. Okay, now this dish is ready to go in the oven. In 35 minutes, they'll be done. Okay, so here it is. It's set in there. It's um, 400 degrees for 35 minutes. You've got to set my timer, because if we're talking to somebody, we'll forget what time it is. We're taking a break from cooking the, everything and looking at the um, photo album here of my children and Robert as a little boy and Thomas as a little boy and there oh, they are. Here's, here's Bob in his preschool. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cute? They're so cute. Look that was a great one coming off of Bob. Nice smiles on everybody. Oh, here you are with the rabbits. That's the one Cynthia said she, yeah. she drew a picture like that. That was one of the things we Unless, insisted on. Yes, David was on a field trip or something, but then when he came back, he'd have all kinds of stories to tell the boys, and they would, you know, couldn't wait to get uh, for dinner so that they could hear the stories, uh, hear the stories and everything. Just a picture of your two grandmothers, Grandma Klein and Grandma um, Lucille Jarzin, the one that some of the recipes came from. Mm -hmm. Mostly Lucille, that's in that picture. Right. I know we'd love to look through the rest of this album, but I think the mock chickens are done now, so let's, let's go, go get them out of the oven. And see how they are, okay? All right. <laughs> We're going to do specialties. What we like on top are croutons. So what I'm taking is a piece of stale bread. You can use any kind, but we use white bread, and you cut it into little squares. Because what you're going to do after you cook the bacon, you're going to put the croutons in the pan with the bacon juice and uh, grease and cook it, okay? Second thing we do is get the bacon on. You can either leave them in strips and wait till they get done and break them into little pieces, or you can cut them into little pieces. This is um, not Rachel Ray's kitchen or Julia Child's. We just kind of throw things together <laughs> and hope that they work well. <laughs> we just like to eat, period. And uh, we will, okay, we'll get it done. Just put a pan on the stove with water, which will get to boil in a few minutes, okay? But now I need a, a bowl because I have to mix the flour. So we need a bowl. And I have to get the recipe now because I have to make sure I've got it right. Just give me a minute. Specialties actually kind of take the place of dumplings. They're small little noodles and you can put them on top of anything. I don't think people put them in the soup. But it's a, it's a cheap dish that fills up people. And, and so they probably used it. In the early days when they, when the farmers or somebody didn't have a lot of money, and then this was a great dish. Okay, now I'm gonna put some flour in here. I need a cup of flour. Okay, and then you add the egg to it once we're getting it. I think you all know how to make bacon. Okay, there's our bacon. We're gonna break that up into little pieces. Now, turn the heat down a little bit, a little high there, and you put these um, croutons in here. And of garlic in there for some flavoring. What you want to do is get them browned, just so they're fun. I mean, you know, fun croutons, not too soaked up. This, again, is, is a comfort food. You know what a comfort food is? You know, sometimes you come home, you don't feel like eating, and you don't feel too great, and you can make this, and you can just sit down and, and enjoy it. You don't have to worry about getting a big meal or anything. You just have a nice little, um, Yes, you went up here. You put some parsley in there too, as long as I got it. Okay, I added the egg. We have one cup of flour here, one egg, and you take a little bit of warm water and you just keep mixing it till you get a little dough that you can work with. Don't worry about getting your hands dirty. You can always wash your hands. <laughs> okay, I forgot. We got to have a little bit of salt in this water. Not much, just a bit. Okay, just got through pouring the, um, the flour batter into this flat bowl. And what you're going to do is make little specialties. 
Now, I will tell you this, some people have a machine. You can put this dough into a machine and it makes really nice little specialties come out, but we don't do it that way. For people who didn't have special equipment, you take your spoon and you cut a whole bunch of little feathery pieces into the boiling water and you keep doing it. How often do I spend cooking meals in this kitchen? Well, I'll tell you, I think about 90% of my time is in the kitchen. <laughs> gotta watch now because all of a sudden the water's gonna boil over and you gotta be careful. See, it wants to boil over, so you gotta keep an eye on it. I mean, if it boils over, it's okay. You can clean your stove, but if you don't feel like cleaning your stove, don't let it boil over. You gotta let it cook for about, like, about three minutes only, just till these little, um, pieces get done, you know, did they become noodles and see it's already going up. So we gotta pick it up and heat it a bit. They're done cooking. So now what you have to do, you take this pan over to the sink and you empty it into a strainer to get rid of the water. Okay, I put them back in the pan and then we're gonna put the butter in there. I have to get the help, something over here too. Parsley again. Okay, a little bit of butter, a little bit of parsley, croutons that you made here, and put a bunch of croutons in. And you take this bacon that you crumpled up and you divide it between the, the dishes. And so you've got a regular meal now. So here you have specials, specials, <laughs> spetzels. Depends how, you, how you're gonna pronounce it, but that's how we make it. Some people put onions and whatever else, but this is, this is how we do it in my home, and I hope you enjoy. Mm-hmm. Mm, good, so. Wow. Oh, yeah. When we were doing the chicken wings a half an hour ago. So here we are. This is the, uh, the chicken wings, mock chicken wings that we were making a half an hour ago, and they're all done. Here, we did 10 of them, and they're huge. Sue, I'll show you some of mine. Oh, no, thank you. I don't like them. What? No, I don't like them. <laughs>